Let's go to a Rin Fair. Come, let us gingerly touch our tips. Outlands has a yearly renaissance festival every year, typically at the end of August. It's always such a blast and always a great way as well to help with the longevity of the Shard's economy. It's this huge party right at opening. It always reminds me of like Best Buy at 5 a.m. on Black Friday back in the early 90s. So what is it exactly? It's a carnival of games completely RNG based. You buy tickets and as you turn them in at each game, it queues you up either solo or against other players. Some are based on your highest single game score and then also some are based on an entire score through all the games. My favorite games in years past are the drinking games. I mean, obviously, right? It's a drinking game and you race to see who can drink as many beers the fastest and it's really funny because your guy actually throws up sometimes, he vomits, and that slows him down sometimes for somebody to catch up with like two or three beers um, as you're trying to gather your composure and get back into it. Another favorite of mine as well is the food eating contest. I mean, everybody loves food, right? This one has a time duration and the object is to eat as many plates as possible during this time. Last year, there were a total of 25 games. And this year, Owen has confirmed that there are five new games, actually one of which is a skill-based game versus uh, you know what the regular RNG based games usually are. I'm actually really excited to see how that one pans out. We were making jokes in the general outlands about uh, skill shots for e-bolts and things like that. Imagine that, playing Ultima Online with skill shots like skill shot e-bolts, flame strikes, all that stuff. It'd be kind of like League of Legends in a way. Don't worry, it was just talk. It, it's not probably gonna happen. It, it. Who knows, right? But back on to King's Fair. Each game has three winners, and that's three specific trophies that are given out. These are all designed based on the game that was played. Uh, of course, there's one gold, there's one silver, and one bronze. And also, there's a first, second, and third place winner for overall participation, basically. But it's not all about games. In years past, there's been a fashion show with multiple categories. This is probably my favorite part. It brings the Outlands community together and it, it, everybody's showing off their creativity in paper doll and character clothing. The line wraps all around the entire stadium for this, the, the, the big old giant, uh, what's it called, stage, there we go. Tons of people participating and the seating is always full. As the server continues to grow, more and more wearable options are added throughout the years and the creativity grows even further. The community always finds different ways to enjoy the fair as well. A few years ago, there was a protest in game trying to protect the mucks in the Whack-A-Muck game. It was really funny. People make characters look like police trying to disperse the crowd of protesters, but obviously to no avail. Eric also created a cotton candy shooting, uh, what, how do you say that? How, how do you guys say it? Otagu, Otaga, Otigue, Otagu, O-T-G, Odi, 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 how do you guys say it? Otuk, that spat out different colors of cotton candy. So people would spend hours around waiting it for it to spew out its treasures and just hang out and chat most of the time. Once again, Outland's always pushing the envelope and improving on things year after year and the community continues to grow. Great job, Owen, Expo, Luthius, and the rest of the Outland's team. Once again, man, you guys just always show to us the amount of work that you guys put into this amazing game that we can come home and unwind and play in our free time away from the real life. Also, shout out to the Patreons, the channel members, and you guys for liking this video as it helps for discoverability for myself, but more importantly, you owe Outlands. Make sure and come by the live streams most evenings at 8.30 p.m. Eastern right here on YouTube. This one was definitely a quick one, but that's only because we've got a lot of different projects in store for you guys. But still, do me a favor, comment below some different types of video suggestions you'd like to see me cover, as I really like doing those videos that the community asked for me to do. I'll see you guys next time. Pone Star Gaming out. Come by, smile.